In this video, we will fix a common problem that bothers a lot of Arduino users, fluctuating analog sensor values. Analog signals from sensors can be noisy. This noise can come from various sources such as electrical interference, fluctuations in power supply or even the sensor itself. When you connect an analog sensor to your Arduino and you read these noisy signals directly, the values can jump around even if the sensor itself is not moving, making it hard to get a stable reading. This can be problematic for many applications such as controlling motors, reading environmental data or any other situation where you need accurate and stable measurements. We are going to explore several methods to smooth out these fluctuating sensor values. We will start with a basic program that reads the sensor value without any averaging or filtering techniques. This will help us understand the problem and see the raw data as it comes from the sensor. Next, we will introduce an averaging technique to smooth out the data. By averaging multiple readings, we can reduce the impact of any single noisy reading. In our third step, we will go beyond simple averaging and implement a software-based filter. This filter will allow us to smooth out the sensor values even more effectively. Finally, we will introduce a hardware solution by adding a capacitor to create a low-pass RC filter. This physical filter will help smooth the analog signal before it even reaches the Arduino. This approach can be combined with the software filtering techniques for even better results. We will test all three programs with and without the capacitor. By comparing the outputs, you will be able to see how each method affects the stability of the sensor readings. This will give you a clear understanding of the benefits and limitations of each technique. So without any further delay, let's get started. Connect the left and right most legs of the potentiometer to the Arduino 5 volt and ground. Connect the middle leg of the potentiometer to the Arduino analog pin A1. Right now you can see that I have not added a capacitor because first we will check three programs without the capacitor and then we will test the same programs with the capacitor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the most basic program. The purpose of this program is to read the potentiometer and print the value on the serial monitor. The potentiometer is connected to the Arduino analog pin A1. The potentiometer value is stored in the variable part data. Inside the setup function, first we activate the serial communication, 9600 is the baud rate. Without activating the serial communication, you won't be able to send the data to the serial monitor or serial plotter. Next, we set the potentiometer as input. Then inside the loop function, we simply read the potentiometer using the analog read function and store the value and part data variable. Finally, we send this value to the serial monitor. Let's go ahead and upload this program. Let's open the serial monitor. As you can see, the value is fluctuating a lot. This means the readings from the potentiometer are not stable. To understand this better, let's open the serial plotter. The serial plotter will give us a visual graph, making it easier to see how much the value is changing over time. On the graph, you can see that the signal is very noisy, even though I haven't touched the potentiometer. With such a noisy and fluctuating signal, we cannot efficiently control servos, brush motors, BLDC motors, and other output devices. Let's understand why this is a problem. When the signal is noisy, it means that the readings are jumping up and down a lot. This makes it hard for the Arduino to know what the actual value is. If we try to use this noisy signal to control motors or other devices, they will not work smoothly the motors might jerk or move unpredictably, which is not good. To fix this problem, we need to smooth out the signal. This means making the readings more stable and less noisy. Let's implement the averaging technique. I modified the previous program. This time, it doesn't send the potentiometer value directly. Instead, it reads the potentiometer value 10 times, calculates the average, and then sends the final value to the serial monitor or serial plotter. Let's upload this program and see if it's going to make any difference. The averaging technique has made the sensor value much smoother, but there is still some nice. Let's go ahead and implement a software filter. This code is much simpler than the previous one. This time, after reading the value from the potentiometer, we pass it through a filter equation to get filtered values. Alpha is a filter coefficient between 0 and 1. It controls how much of the new sensor reading will be included in the filtered value. If you want to know more about this equation, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. Anyway, let's go ahead and upload this program.
The signal is much smoother now, but there is still a bit of noise. So let's test all three programs with a capacitor. Simply connect the positive leg of a 4.7 or 10 microfarad capacitor to the middle leg of the potentiometer and connect the ground leg of the capacitor to the Arduino ground. This makes a simple low pass RC filter. Now let's go ahead and upload all the three programs one by one. Just by adding a single capacitor, you can significantly reduce the noise. Let's upload the second program. When you connect the capacitor and also use the averaging technique on the sensor value, you can see the result. The code might get a bit longer, but the end result is quite satisfactory. Now, let's upload the third program. When you have a low pass filter on the hardware side and also implement a filter in the program, you get an almost perfectly smooth value that you can completely rely on. The value is also quite stable. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.